Somebody said, I don't have to tell you things are bad. Well, he was right. I mean, everyone knows things are bad. Seems like we're stuck in a world where we can't change a single thing but the climate. Every time we check the news, we've been hit by a quake or a storm or a financial disaster. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It looks like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore, but we still think we're connected with all the people of the world. But that's not true. People around the world suffer hunger, chronic hunger. One billion people, one billion of us. Now that's bad. Worse than that, that's crazy. I think our all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. And, yeah. I, and I think that's what I sussed when I was 16 and 12, way down the line. But I expressed it differently all through my life. It's the same thing I'm expressing all the time. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean uh, ends. You know. if, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. Black History Month, you find ridiculous. You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is white history month? <laughs> no, well, no, no, come on. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay. Which I'm month not. is Jewish history month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh. Oh. Why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. All right, all right, all right, I don't either. I don't want a black history month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? Until... Stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. The government isn't your nanny. They're your dealer. And they subsidize illness in America. Mm. They have to. There's too much money in it. You see, there's no money in healthy people. And there's no money in dead people. The money is in the middle. People who are alive, sort of, but with one or more chronic conditions that puts them in need of Celebrex or Nasonex or Valtrex or Lunesta. Fifty years ago, children didn't even get type 2 diabetes. Now, it's an emerging epidemic. My fight against terrorism, to me, the biggest terrorist is Obama in the United States of America. You know, so for me, it's like I'm trying to fight the terrorism that's actually causing the other forms of terrorism. You know, the root causes of the terrorism is the stuff that the U.S. government allows to happen. You know, and the, the, the foreign policies that we have in place in different countries that inspire people to become terrorists. Now, I'm a real big believer if I'm going to vouch for someone, uh -huh. then I'm going to stand behind everything that they do. Right? So that could be you, that could be the cameraman. Like, if I'm, if I'm going to say I stand behind this person and write on a piece of paper that says, hey, I stand for this person, then I, I, I have to take responsibility for everything that he does because that's just how I am as a human being, right? So politicians aren't going to do that because I don't want you to bomb some village in the middle of nowhere. Here's the thing they're not telling you about the economy. The dollar is worthless. <laughs> when you leave America and you try to give, like, the guy at the hotel a dollar, they're like, are you crazy? Hey, you all like doctors because they don't cure shit. They don't cure nothing. Same disease has been hanging out since I was a kid, man. That's right. We got AIDS out there. You think they're going to cure AIDS? No. They ain't cure that because there ain't no money in the cure. The money's in the medicine. So what they will do with AIDS is the same thing they do with everything else. They will figure out a way for you to live with them. And they don't cure shit, they just patch it up. In America, we are fed propaganda, and if you want to know what's happening in the world, go outside of the U.S. media, because it's owned by four corporations. One of them is this one. And you know what? Go outside of the country to find out what's going on in our own country, because it's frightening. And we've got to get mad. I want you to get mad. I want you to get up right now, stick your head out of the window and yell, I'm mad as hell, I am mad as hell, I am mad as hell, and I'm not going to let one billion people go hungry. You tell them. The Bush lied to me. They all lied to me. They're like, we got to go to Iraq, because they're the most dangerous country on earth. They're the most dangerous regime in the world. If they're so dangerous, how come it only took two weeks to take over the whole fucking country? 85 or 90% of the people in this country say, what? 
made a plane hit this building and it fell kind of like that. Another plane hit that building and it fell kind of like that. About the same time it fell, this one fell the same way. Looked like uh, an implosion somewhere, you know. And then all of a sudden the third building fell and no plane hit it. So naturally I've got questions. Hydrofracking in New York State uh, will affect the water and land of New York City, the Catskills region, upstate New York, and the Hudson Valley. They take millions of gallons of water, they uh, infuse it with chemicals, uh, which um, remain completely a mystery to us. And they um, pump it at such high volume into the ground that it actually cracks the bedrock and releases the pockets of gas that are trapped. One of the biggest problems with this process, they don't know what to do with the waste. And so they've been putting them in these open pits. There's blowouts of these, of these sludge pits. It's not you have a little spill on some farmer's land and, and that farmer's land is poisoned and they pay him off and he moves away. Now you have a spill and it's the entire gulf, you know. Now you have a spill in upstate New York and it's 5 million people, 15 million people's drinking water. We don't know anything about this. There's been no credible study right now there are no regulations in place specifically for this kind of drilling. All we're saying here in New York is like, hey, we're, you know, we don't have to do this here. And we can slow down and we can make sure that we do this right. And we can make sure that we do it safely. Because once it's bad, it's bad for good. There's no turning back. Seeing what this does to a community, uh, I've, I've seen how hard it is on the community, um, how ugly it is, not just to mention what it does to water, but what it also does to the heart of the community, to the way people treat each other. And, and I'm raising three small kids. And so I'm not really here today as an actor. I'm, I'm here today as an activist. I think the only thing that we could do is, you know, learn so we can know what's going, be aware of what's happening. Um, that's number one, be aware. Because you don't want to walk around like a, a, dumb, a dumbass. You don't know what the fuck is going on in your own fucking backyard. There are nearly one billion people going hungry in the world, and that makes me really angry. What, what is Fox News? It's just a parade of propaganda, isn't it? It's just a, it's just a festival of ignorance. What? Why, a million Fox people are dead in Iraq. Come on, this is ridiculous. What's the point of that? Uh, go out, people Fox at home, News. go outside. Go, go hug Lee, your children. you should be more... Love your family. It's pretty obvious that there's some gigantic financial institutions that have been pulling the strings of politicians in this country for a long time. And the, the, just the fact that we have it set up where they can donate millions of dollars to these guys' funds, these guys' campaigns. I mean, how do we not expect it, it all to go bad? I don't want to be uh, an, an icon. Um, I want to be an idea. I woke up and I suddenly got it. I understood suddenly how thought was just an illusory thing and how thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience.